and today I'm coming to you with another tutorial or actually a Halloween tutorial so I'm collabing again with Yana aka Jampatan Yampatan here on YouTube um, she came up with the theme old Hollywood glamour but with a Halloween twist and I took the old kind of literally <laughs> and made myself into a let's say glamorous ghost so the makeup is very easy yet kind of creepy so anybody can do this don't forget to check out Yana's video say hi tell her I sent you love you Yana and if you want to know how I did this old Hollywood glamour ghost inspired makeup tutorial then you know what you gotta do so obviously I already primed my face <laughs> with my Smashbox photo finish primer and then on this area right here, because this is where my pores are the largest, I use the Porefessional by Benefit. Now for almost every tutorial, I've been using my favorite Krylon TV paint sticks. And you guessed it, even for this look, I'm going to use a Krylon or Creolon TV paint stick. Um, this is in the shade 00, so I'm guessing, because there are more whites on the website and I only have this one, so it looks kind of off-white to me. But anyway, just use whatever you have. So what I'm going to do is apply it right underneath my eye, on my forehead and uh, on my chin area. And then I'm going to use the Boozy Brush Ellipse M. You know, this is just an affordable version of the Artiste brushes, just so you know. And what I'm going to do is really buff it into my skin using circular motions. And yes, this is going to highlight all your imperfections. But guess what, for this look, that's perfect. That's why I'm doing it this way. That's why I'm not covering my entire face with this foundation. It doesn't have to be perfect. You want your imperfections or your flaws to shine through. And before I forget, I'm also going to apply it on my ear and a little bit in my neck. Okay, so now I'm going to use a Cinema Secrets grease paint stack and I'm using that red or dark red kind of burgundy shade and I'm just going to take that on my ring finger and apply that right underneath my eye, like so, and just dab it to blend it into the skin. Of course you can use a brush if you feel that is easier to work with. I'm just using my ring finger. I'm also going to apply that around my nose and then use that same shade to contour my face. So I'm going to contour my cheekbone, my forehead area and my jawline. So for my nose I'm actually going to use a brush and just blend that out a little bit because my fat finger cannot reach <laughs> in between my nose area so I need to do that with a brush. I almost forgot to mention I'm also applying it kind of in a messy way uh, onto my ear so now to set all the cream paints and to give the white a little bit more of a yellow hue I'm going to use my itch your face cosmetics loose setting powder number three and this one has a yellow undertone and then with a large powder brush, I'm just going to apply that on top of the cream uh, foundations I applied before. So now I'm going to mix a little bit of Sugar Pills Love Plus and Poison Plum eyeshadows. And I'm going to apply that over that base I laid down before. Next, I'm going to take a little bit of Sugar Pills Butter Cupcake eyeshadow. And just like kind of with a bruised eye, I'm going to apply that right over here. 
ever so slightly, mixing it in a little bit with that, um, you know, mixture I applied before, so Love Plus and Poison Plum. It's kind of like a bruised eye after four days. You know, the yellow colors start to pop in. Well, that's the effect I'm going for, a little bit. And now to darken that area a little bit more, I'm going to use the black eyeshadow of the It's Your Face Cosmetics Eyeshadow Quad number three. So I'm just taking a tiny bit of that black eyeshadow and I'm applying that right over here. So right in that corner, sort of save my eye. And then I'm blending it downwards. Kind of matching that other eye, obviously. You know that tired eye effect, but then like over the top and maybe a little bit cartoony? That's what I'm going for. And I'm taking that same eyeshadow and I'm applying that a little bit, you know, here in that corner by my nose and in my laugh lines to accentuate those. Now I'm going to take a little bit of Love Plus eyeshadow again and this time I'm applying it right over there on my nose. On my cupid's bow area and also my bottom lip, the center, and also on my ear. So as you can see, I drew on my other eyebrow. It's the same principle as with my other eyebrow routine. The only thing I changed is the concealer I clean it up with. That's that same paint stick I used for the rest of my face. So now I'm going to take Sugar Peel's Love Plus eyeshadow again and apply a tiny bit of it in my crease. Now I'm going to take Taco or Taco eyeshadow by Sugar Pill Cosmetics and I'm going to apply that all over my lid. And now I'm just going to use my Catrice liquid liner in Dating Joe Black and I'm just going to apply a winged eyeliner. So next up I'm going to apply my false lashes off camera. I'm going to use the Dodo Lashes in the style D105. Don't forget to check out my coupon code because it can save you some money. Um, I, have a, um, I have a video listed below in the information box on how I apply my false lashes. But for now let's move on with the rest of my face. Now I'm going to use Sugar Pills Butter Cupcake eyeshadow again. And this time I'm just going to apply it a little bit near my eye, a little bit on my forehead, near my mouth, just to create some bruising, sort of say. And now I'm taking Love Plus eyeshadow again and applying that a little bit over those yellow spots. And of course, don't forget your neck. And now for my lips, I'm going to use the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Vampira. And don't forget, it's okay to make them a little messy. And of course, I need another beauty mark. And heck, why not? Another one. Now I'm going to use Sugar Pills Goldilux Pigment and mix it with a lot of MAC's Mixing Medium. And as you can see on my other eye, I created some golden tears because, you know, this is an old Hollywood lady. She had everything going for her, super duper rich, so she even cries golden tears. <laughs> So now I'm going to put in my other contact. These are white out lenses or white mesh lenses by Pinky Paradise. Check out my Pinky Paradise coupon code below in the information box. It will give you 50% off on your lenses. So make sure you check that out. So that was it for the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. So for my wig, this is literally my black wig I've been wearing in several makeup tutorials, in several uh, social media posts. I will leave a direct link to it, obviously, below in the information box. But I sprayed it with some gray hairspray. And then my mom <laughs> was so kind enough to help me um, put some fake spider webs in my hair. So for the jewelry, I bought this as a set. So the bracelet, the necklace, and the earrings. Um, at a local store. <laughs> I'm 
<laughs> they're just fake pearls. If you want to follow me on my social media pages, then just type in Makeup by Namaisa on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, and Periscope. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to go to Yana's video, like her video, comment over there, send her love. And yeah, that was it. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. And until my next video. Bye.